Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, guys, welcome back. Uh, Joe and Kevin here uh, with another episode of West Wing. Theory. Yeah, we just looked because we weren't sure. This is the next to last episode in season one, which is we're, we're there at the end. I can't believe it, man. This uh, first season has been great. It's been what, a, a what lot a, of ups and downs with these characters. You know? What a great show this has been for the entire season. I'm trying to think of other season ones where you can just like hop into it and just be in it. Yeah, yeah. Most of the time, like the first season of any show is kind of kind of rough. Yeah, well, all, so many shows, even great shows, you know, the, a lot of people will be like, you know, that, that line you always use, like, you just you have to get through the first season of setup yeah. and then it's good. Well, this is not that. This was great from the time that they, you know, they hit the ground running right from the beginning on this. Yeah, the first episode was, was a lot of fun. I mean, honestly, it was with him, like, you know, wrecking his bike. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was, it was just, great. Just kind of introducing you to the whole, like, White House in general. The characters and the style and the walk and talks, you know, it had that, 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 uh, was this the first? No, it wasn't the first episode, but we had the one episode where we had the long one shot, you know, there at the beginning. The, yeah. The, was like the longest one in TV history, I think. Like somebody two or three, said. I think. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah, it was yeah, right sure, towards yeah. the beginning. But yeah, no, it, absolutely amazing show for the for the first season. I, I'm especially excited, and I appreciate the fact there's no spoilers, but a lot of commenters have said that season one ends on a massive cliffhanger. That's what Like, I'm massive. I'm. I'm curious to see what that is yeah what, what, what it, yeah it's like an yeah. election yeah right yeah <laughs> a, a war i don't know yeah oh yeah. <laughs> well, that'd be crazy right well i mean well they, they've told us in the comments that season three is when they address 9-11 right yeah yeah so we're, we're still a ways away from that which you know nobody wants to see that i don't want to be morbid about anything but i am very curious to see how they how they do it how they handle that because they do they I, I, some, someone said there's like a one-off episode which to start the season probably deal, dealing exclusively with 9-11 because i think what happened um was uh, someone said mentioned like they had already done a lot of season three when nine eleven happened, yeah. so they went back and did a one off standalone episode as the new premiere for the season, and kind of pushed everything back an episode. Makes so sense. you have like its its own one thing dealing with that before getting into the actual season that they'd written, that makes which makes makes a lot of sense. And I'm glad they addressed it. They, you have to address it, but I feel like a lot of media back then wasn't touching it. Right, right. Kind of like this is a dumb example. It's not the same thing, but like, uh, was it the first Spider-Man movie? The Twin Towers, obviously very prominent in that film. Right, right. They delayed it so they could take it out. Yeah, they don't say a word about it. It's right. not addressed, which is yeah. a whole lot of movies handled that that situation. Of course, absolutely. Years, you know, right. Yeah. Understandably anyways, so. We digressed. <laughs> um, we'd like to welcome some new Patreon subscribers. So Kieran O'Laughlin, Blue Diners, Mallory, Trine, and Bed Bath and Beyond <laughs> official Patreon. I love that. I hope that's real. <laughs> yeah, I right. hope we're being followed by Bed Bath Beyond. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you guys very much. We really do appreciate it. And uh, for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, if you wouldn't mind, please hit that like button, leave yeah. us a comment, and please, please, please subscribe. We would really appreciate the help. Absolutely. Like Kevin said, we've got some new people on Patreon. If you want to check it out for yourself, click the link down below. And uh, it's not just West Wing over there. Ted Lasso, Mad Men, Shit's Creek, Crazy Ex Girlfriend, Fleabag. We're doing Succession as a Patreon exclusive. Yeah. I mean, so as, come join the party. Right. As, as, as we mentioned, a, a lot of you have said that there's a major cliffhanger at the end of one, and we should yeah. just go right into season two. Well, by the time you're watching this on YouTube, we already have. Um, so if you're interested to see the, the reaction to the follow-up on one, we haven't done it yet, obviously. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. then we wait a week into the follow-up on two, but by the time it's on YouTube, it's, it's already over there on Patreon. You can check it out. Four oh, episodes yeah. ahead in one week. So we are very excited to get to that and for you to join us along with it because we are very much enjoying your engagement. Uh, oh, so yeah. thank you. Six is fine. Camera work Would here. you say yeah. things in this country are going in the right it's direction? So good, you really or you think yeah. they've gotten off on the wrong track? He's got a good point about this. I have a problem with 14. What's your problem? When making oh, policy polling, decisions, the new you think policy the stuff, yeah. puts the needs of average people first. Average people's pejorative phrase. Yeah. Leo, Eastern Standard Time is sitting down to dinner. The poll is fine. It's an important poll, CJ. I'm aware of its importance. Anybody want to make a prediction? We'll hold it. 42% job approval. We'll hold steady. I'll be happy if we hold steady. We're going to go up five points. Ooh, bold. President thinks we're going to hold steady. Toby, tell Sam to start the banks. I bet this is exciting, you know? Yeah. Like, let's find out how we're doing. We need 1,500 responses. It takes 30 people 48 hours to make 1,500 calls. We need 1,500 responses, which means we need to make 6,000 calls. So, so yeah. one in four answer. One in yeah. four people don't hang up. The GW Law School graduation is tomorrow. Yeah. Were you going to go see your friend? You can't. Okay. I really do believe Steve Honorado knows and he's... Yeah. <sighs> Toby's right. It sucks, seem, but Toby's right. Doesn't seem convincing. I feel like Sam's probably gonna end up going. Of course he is. Yeah. But Toby's right. Toby is right. Barry. Yes. Leo McGarry. 
Barry Haskell. Good to meet you. Mm -hmm. You've been on the Federal Election Commission for nine years, and no one's ever... Oh, he's one of the, the FEC guys. To the oh, West wow. Wing. There have been... You know, you walk past a dress marine when you come in here. Rodney. I didn't catch his name. Rodney's but... great. All right, yeah, he's flexing a little bit. I was going to say, is he whining and dining him, or is he intimidating him? I think it's a bit of both. Yeah. He definitely looks intimidated. Because he said he's never been to the White House. Yeah. Well, the belief has always been that none of the four of you favor a ban on soft money contributions. But the truth is, you do. I gave those people <laughs> on the condition of anonymity. Hey, I know how you feel. I went to drug rehab on the condition of anonymity. Maybe you read about it in the papers. <laughs> Let me show you around the place. <laughs> a glass of water. No problem. Is it the Oval? Oh my God, Mr. President, I'm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I understand you're thinking about helping us out. That makes me so happy. <laughs> it's an honor to meet you, sir. Did the guys make any predictions? We're gonna hold the 42. Toby thinks we dropped a few points, but inside the margin. CJ said you're gonna go up. Yeah. Why didn't he say? Didn't he say that? You can't come tomorrow. No. I understand. I know you'd be thinking about me. I will. You go knock him dead tomorrow. Found one? Yeah. What? Ambassador to the Federated States of Micronesia. Is that a real country? Yep. We're not talking about legalization. We are talking about... Yeah, we go back to this on the... Memo. Yeah. It's the same memo that's been generated by every administration for 30 years. Leo was in here last night. He said you guys predicted we'd hold steady at 42. Not her. Are you just being optimistic, or you really think we held our ground? I didn't say that, sir. Yeah. I didn't say we'd hold steady at 42, Mr. President. I said we gained five points. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. The Federated States of Micronesia. Toby says it's a country. It is a country. You know where? I assume it's a small island in the South Pacific. And look, trivia. The Federated States of Micronesia. I can't fire our ambassador. You can promote him. To what? Ambassador to Paraguay. Because if everybody keeps moving up one, then I get to go home. <laughs> He's having an affair with the daughter of the Bulgarian Prime Minister, who the State Department is saying is upset. Ambassador Cochran. I know his wife. Oh, this might be personal. Yeah. I got a fire, Ken Cochran. Yes, sir. Why do they need the Micronesia one to be open? Uh, yeah, it's weird. So, someone's going into that, yeah. yeah. That Ken Cochran, Mr. President? Yeah. Okay. What? He knows him? I'm sorry, sir. You're here to give me a counter argument on English as the official language of the United States. You are not here to speculate on whether or not the Republicans are going to put the issue on the table. It's almost hard to believe you're not married. <laughs> <laughs> Many have tried. <laughs> Mandatory minimums require a federal judge to sentence anyone convicted of possessing five grams of crack to at least five years in prison. It's See, that's messed up. Seventy percent of all drug users are white. 80% of all crack users are black. Federal mandatory minimums for crack users are a war on the black community. That's all. Thank you, everybody. She crushed that. She Honestly, actually that crushed was, that, yeah. It was a ridiculous question. No, it wasn't. I don't like it when mom and dad fight. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think she gets out of the doghouse and feels better about herself when the polling comes back and she was right. That's, That's what I think, yeah. yeah. You know why they only eat one egg for breakfast in France? Why? Because in France, one egg is enough. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. He said that joke in a <laughs> trial of Chicago Seven. Was it? Was it? It sounded familiar. They used that joke in that movie really? as well. Sorkin doubled down on that one. Yeah. But I didn't say that. I said we'd go up five points. I meant in general, on average. What are you doing here? I'm kind of in charge of morale. Josh, the calls are going great. Can't stand here distracting the female callers. Have I been distracting the female callers? Josh, <laughs> you should have been more impressed that I was able to quote Theodore Roosevelt. <laughs> you are both drunk and disorderly. Oh my God! Happy graduation. How did you surprise, Janine? Uh, graduation gift. See where, where this all goes wrong? Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. There's no way yeah. this is a good thing. I only asked. <laughs> Where's my present? Maybe this is just nice. Oh! I was. Yep. You just spoke right here. You're gonna take it. No, I'm gonna go up. Sam, you screwed up. Did you see anybody get in that car? I'm driving he told him already. Resignation. 
Well, you're not going to give it to him, Sam, because that would deny me the pleasure of throwing you out through a plate glass window. How do you not tell me until this morning? Leo. How do you not call me last night? We didn't know anything last night. BJ, if it I was... was handling it, Leo. It took me three hours to confirm there was a picture and another hour to find out who has it. Whatever. They paid a waitress friend of hers $50,000 to set it up and confirm that It was, was Janine. Wow. <laughs> Mr. President, Sam has always been completely above board about his relationship with Lori. He... Lori's the girl? Yes, sir. I think there's no danger in the White House standing by Sam and aggressively going after the people who set him up. You're going to spend the morning in the White House counsel's office finding out if you broke any laws. Yes, sir. You See, he totally knows. Tell her the White House deeply regrets the phenomenal inconvenience she's about to experience. Yes, sir. That if she passes her bar exam, the U.S. Attorney General will personally see to it that she's admitted to the bar. It's nice when we can do something for prostitutes once in a while, isn't it? Mr. President. When you said the name yeah. Cochran. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, anyway, no, sir. I have a sense about these things. Yes, sir. I need you to hire a guy. Who, sir? The former ambassador to Bulgaria. Who is that, sir? Ken Cochran. <laughs> He's a good man, a smart man. I think he'd make a very good corporate officer. Why is he being fired, sir? Gross incompetence. I'll be <laughs> Resign. Nice. Excuse me? You've been having an affair with the daughter of the Prime Minister, and that doesn't work for me. Have we met? Yes. Okay. You're How? Very familiar to Charlie? Yes, sir. I resigned my membership in that club, by the way. Did you? Oh, yeah. I find exclusive clubs to be repugnant. And you've forgotten that you're addressing a U.S. ambassador. I apologize, sir. Well, I'd like to speak to your supervisor. So my supervisor's a little busy right now looking for a back door to this place to shove you out of. to <laughs> complain. <laughs> Clearly, this young man who works for you is, has told you something about our past, and I'd like to say here and now that you have a past, sir, <laughs> mocked my finely honed sense. <laughs> you stood there in my face. I never voted for you. <laughs> well, thanks for trying, but here I am anyway. <laughs> Lebowski. Yep. All right, then. <laughs> You know what Get a job, are. sir! Because I'm a lily-livered, bleeding heart, liberal, egghead communist. <laughs> we also agree on campaign finance. Yes, sir. So, Max? Yes, sir? Let's work together on campaign finance. And what do I get in exchange? That's what it is. Always, always yeah. The thanks of a grateful president. Good answer, sir. Yeah. yeah! I wish this happened more often. I'm being named the next ambassador to the Federated States <laughs> yeah. of Micronesia. 72% of Hispanics are strongly opposed to such a law. The Republicans will never put it on the table. <laughs> Aside from it being bigoted and unconstitutional, it's ludicrous to think that laws need to be created to help protect the language of Shakespeare. I was wrong. <sighs> we went up nine points. Oh! Urgh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People like you. That's right. All your key players in one room. That's that's awesome. So, we're geared up for the, the season finale now, obviously. Right. Where do we go? Like, what is this next episode going to be, I wonder? I don't know, but the idea of a cliffhanger seems very out of place and, and weird right here. But They're not up for election yet. No. Uh, unless they do a time jump, which I really doubt they're going to do. I just didn't feel like... Here, here's the, all I can say. They didn't set anything up for a major cliffhanger in the next episode, but obviously there is one. So something's going to happen in the episode. Probably like a surprise cliffhanger, honestly. Gotta be, right? So the only thing I can think of, unless they want to bring back Sam's friend, which I feel like they kind of resolve that because it's out there. I don't know if they did. There. Right. I mean... Yeah, it's not fully resolved, sure, but at the same time, like, it's the, the, been addressed extensively at this point. On the show it has, but, like, with the characters, the president's like, we'll stand behind Sam, but the fight over that's still gonna happen. Like, the Republicans are still gonna drag it through the mud sure. and stuff. I just figured his, like, little speech they had about, uh, you know, we stand by her. Right, you know, of course, right. That, that just kind of seemed like a, a nice little cap on it. But, it is, it's a policy direction. Maybe you're right, maybe they are done with it, I don't know. We'll see. Right. I mean, if that was the, 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 the uh, I'm sorry, uh. Uh, cliffhanger right That'd be interesting oh it's gotta be something bigger than that i think i'm i'm literally just speculating mm -hmm. that the, the big storyline that we haven't really got any resolved with is zoe yeah i was thinking about that as a possibility last week when i was editing and it was like the uh the white supremacist thing yeah. like they might become an issue like a bomb or something unless, which would be crazy that'd be nuts unless they do like 
they, they even that didn't get fully resolved, but they kind of addressed that with the uh, the episode where CJ is talking to her bodyguard, and she's like, "I got to do all this on my lunch break. I got to right. like you know break down all these like ransom notes, all these crazy letters that people are cutting out of magazines and stuff. And right. just, that that's my life. That's what I'm devoted towards. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the Secret like, Service agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was the point of that was to right. show that like this is my job. It sucks. Right. I don't get breaks. I'm on twenty four seven. Right. Um. So we'll see. We'll see. If, we'll see if it comes back. I mean, that's definitely something they can definitely carry over into season two. Sure. Um, I don't want to know. Let's put it that way. I don't yeah. want to know. I don't know what it's going to be because I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. We get. We uh, we have to wait a week to find out. But, yeah. And then a week after that to see what to see, to see what everyone's talking about on the because because a lot of people said you have to see that one and you're going to want to go right into the premiere of season two. I'm imagining season two is going to be about him up for re-election. Yeah, we got we got to start that at some point because I mean. I don't remember 2000-ish how campaigns went, but nowadays, let's face it, you get about a year into your administration, it's all of a sudden campaign time for everything. And they've said this midterms is, and yeah, he's into a second year now, right? Said. So yeah, so we should be getting, we got to be getting there where it becomes a conversation. They start gearing up. I mean, they could definitely drag it out. It's a TV right. show. I mean, it went forever. So oh, I think I think probably season three or f- maybe four, probably three though, because it's seven. It's probably going to be all about campaign, the re-election cycle. That'd be cool. Yeah, I, I want. I want to see that a lot. Yeah, of course. You want you, it's a completely new angle for the show yeah. for for a really good show. The only thing I can think of that's a really like uh, about a campaign besides the comedy, the campaign, which mm-hmm. is really funny. Um, Ides of March, George Clooney. Yeah, that was a good one. I like that movie. And very I, very pessimistic look at politics. Very much so. Kind of feels like a nice uh, companion piece to House of Cards instead of like yeah. Swing, you know? right. Yeah, exactly. A lot darker. I've never seen. Uh, what's the Robert Redford movie? It's a candidate, isn't it? Yeah. Is yeah. that about campaigning and all that? It is. Okay. The, the I, famous, I, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but the very famous last line, I think, is something like, uh, now what? I think is what oh, it is really? like after the election. <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of amazing. That's hilarious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, hey, we had a great time with this episode. We're yeah. very much looking forward to see the next yeah, one. Yeah. This show is, it, it's, if it's ramping up to something, it's being very subtle about it, which I kind of dig. Can't wait. Catch you later, guys.